hello and welcome back to my channel so these days i would not go by without making an update of what is happening in israel gaza situation um i'm gonna try my level best to use uh the simple words because i'm not allowed to use certain words concerning israel and gaza on this app like youtube the app okay so there's been some protests you should know that uh, jews are protesting like they don't want anything to do with the that the government of israel should not involve jews as a religion this w w beef happening in uh, israel and gaza is more on a political and not nothing near religion and if you ask me that i'm gonna agree on that completely okay this is political nothing near religion beef and um they know that and they know that and uh, if you've been following me these past few days i think i'm gonna say you should agree with me on this enough is enough let's watch uh, these clips and then we're gonna talk at the end of this video make sure you like and subscribe and follow this channel for more videos like this let's get into it we have a message for this nakba day for this 75 years of occupation we want the world to know that what is being perpetrated against the palestinian people the oppression the subjugation the terrible cruelty is not in the name of our religion it is not in the name of the star of david it is not in the name of the jewish people around the world who are true to the jewish religion because we are jewish and because we are true to our religion we are in total opposition to the existence of the zionist state of israel i call it zionist state of israel because it is zionist it is not jewish judaism in the torah forbids Jews to have our own sovereignty, our own entity since the destruction of the temples and Jews true to the Torah never aspire or try to have our own state. We also are forbidden to kill or to steal. The whole concept of taking this land away from the Palestinian people, it is totally antithetical and is contradictory to my religion, Judaism. Jews have always, from day one, stood up against this Zionist entity. We as Jews continue. Because we are true to the Torah, we stand and demonstrate, and we cry and suffer and feel the suffering of the Palestinian people. We want the world to know we are in solidarity, we are together with the Palestinian people in their suffering, and we hope and pray to God constantly for the total end of the occupation. We want the world to know that the Zionist movement is not a Jewish movement, it was a political material movement created by heretics and they simply try to incorporate our religion in order to intimidate and silence people and call them anti-Semitic if they stand in opposition. But this is patently false. Anti-Semitic is supporting the state of Israel. It is a cause of exacerbating anti anti-semitism by having this occupation it is a cause of bloodshed of the palestinians and jews alike it is the cause of the oppression of not only the muslims and the christians in palestine but of the jews hundreds of thousands of jews stand in palestine have lived there prior to the state they have lived and they're continuing to live till today and demonstrate daily and get brutally beaten and arrested this is the sad story of this terrible Nakba. It is a tragedy, a calamity, and God with his compassion, we hope, will see the suffering. And even today, the last few days, how you see daily the death and suffering of the Palestinians and the attacks. It's all Zionism, not Judaism. God with his compassion should bring a speedy removal of the Zionist state of Israel so we can once again live together in harmony Jews and Arabs as we've had for all these hundreds and hundreds of years and Jews could show their gratitude to the Arab and Muslim countries for their embracing Jews and giving them a home inshallah soon in our days Amen Assalamu Alaikum 
So this is the fact. The fact on the ground is Judaism is subservience to God. Zionism is a transformation to a base national. It is totally contradictory. It is antithetical to this Jude Tower Judaism. The fact is, no matter what the Zionists or all they're going to come with their uh, intimidation or their whatever explanation, the fact is Judaism is, does not accept Zionism. It cannot accept Zionism. In every aspect of Zionism, it's contradictory. It is based on blasphemy. Secondly, in its actions, it's, it's, it's totally, it's criminal. You're not allowed to kill a steal. They, when, if, in its um, essence, we're not allowed to have a state. But on top of that, being that they came to Palestine, they created the state by driving the Palestinians from the land. Yes, they started at the beginning buying the land because the Arab and Muslims knew that the Jews, on the, they just want to buy a piece of land. They didn't believe. And the, and, and the, and the, the furthest thought that, that, that it could be that they want to make a spy to create their own land. But so they then realized what they're doing, that they want to make their own state, so they stopped selling. So then the Zionists came with Der Yassin, Rabbi Beck told me, and those other rabbis, and they cringed when they spoke about Der Yassin, how friendly the Arab and Muslims were. And beyond words, when the, the Zionists came in and, and murdered them, how, you know, how as a Jew, how we felt. So the Jews around, so the, the, as a Jew, we cannot accept the murder and the killing and the oppression and the, and the all the other, the subjugation, the everything that's what the Zionists are doing mentally and physically, how every person is, is maimed, every, if there's not a, a family that doesn't have a member somewhere that was not murdered. This is against our Torah. In an open air prison where 2.2 million people live. Almost half of whom are children. They are now without food and water and electricity and fuel and they are being bombed. They are being rained down on with white phosphorus. They are trapped. This is genocide. This is genocide. As Jewish New Yorkers, we are here to say not in our names. Okay, so like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm following what is happening in Israel and Gaza situation. It's unfortunate that I can't show you guys everything that I've been seeing on TikTok on this app. Like YouTube has zero tolerance of some type of uh, content to show. Unless some media houses like uh, BBC, CNN, Al Jazeera, and I can say, I can tell you this, uh, like uh, they, even them, they're not showing you guys everything. Like we are limited to show to, to what we can say or show on here. Otherwise, your channel gets to be terminated. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and read some of the comments on these videos. Uh, and the first one reads, um, you don't have to be Muslim to support Palestine. You just have to be a human being. Hats off to the Jewish people who understand the pain of our brothers and sisters going through in Palestine. Thank you for standing up and seeing the truth. God bless you guys. There's still some humans left on this planet. And the last comment reads, they know that the world is taking note and it's going down in history. 75 years of, uh, of, uh, of hell is enough. Okay, so those were just some of the comments. You guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please guys, go ahead, subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that every time I upload, 
new videos such content guys you'll be the first one to be notified and let me take uh, this opportunity to say to say uh, thank you for your support for your love i don't take it for granted you guys and i will definitely see you in my next video stay peaceful